Hello, this is GI Dojo. Today we're going to be looking at the World Peacekeepers 1 6 scale watchtower. Just got this from Cotswold Collectibles. Uh, their website is gijoelite.com. And I paid $79.99 for this, plus an exorbitant shipping fee because of how big the item is. Uh, you know, it was a good competitive price, but I think I paid like $28 or $29. Your results may vary. Uh, let's open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, we have the World Peacekeepers Lookout Tower out of the box, or out of the shipping box rather. I put our Adventure Team Training Center, aka Training Tower, uh, right next to it for scale. The box is 33 and a half inches tall, just for anybody who's wondering. Uh, looks like we are sitting at five inches deep. And let's see how wide. 15 and a half wide. Comes with a um, carry handle on the side. And has a little window box that shows you the figure and some of the accessories. Lots of stats on the front. And some more stuff on the back. Let's go ahead and pull it out and see the uh, contents of the box. Okay, so here is the contents of the inside of that big old box. Uh, here is a separate box that kind of, uh, you know, sections out the figure and the figure's accessories. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Now we're going to pause for a little while. I'm going to wait till my daughter is home from school so she can help me assemble it because I promised... Uh, promise her that we would assemble it together. Uh, one thing that's interesting to note, a lot of the times you look at the World Peacekeepers line and uh, you know a lot of the, the boxes you see have really old dates on them, but this is cool. Um, you know, MNC Toy, they are still producing these as you can see by the 2020 manufacturing date. So I, I wasn't sure if Greg from Cotswold Collectibles had just um, you know, acquired like a, a shipping container full of these and they weren't actually being manufactured anymore, but they are being manufactured. So that's excellent. Okay. We have our figure pulled out here. Uh, these world peacekeeper figures are highly underrated. Uh, I love the design of the bodies and the amount and type of articulation. The uniforms are great. Uh, I think the face sculpts are a little goofy looking, but that's just my weird opinion their drop leg holster boots with painted detail because he's been running around in the mud and now here is our very substantial pile of over 50 accessories now, there's so many accessories I can't even really tell what a lot of them are uh, but I'm gonna look at the instruction manual to determine that now, here's our ladder here's our climbing net uh, we have a um, field telephone. We've got this bazooka that I think apparently actually fires real rockets. Uh, about to just sort through the, all this and see what it is. Okay, so I have everything halfway assembled as far as the accessories. Here's our bazooka with uh, real firing rockets. You just pull this tab back and it fires those. Pretty cool. Here's our net, here's our um, rope ladder, the uh, field telephone, this cool crate you can store accessories in. Uh, these, I believe, are supposed to be kind of like mock uh, air raid uh, you know, speakers, loud phone speakers. Uh, we got a couple grenades. We got a, looks like we got a smoke grenade and maybe a flashbang. Uh, we have some binoculars to have this uh, holster here that holds grenades I believe. I got a couple scopes. I believe those hold magazines together and there's a couple spare magazines. We got a knife with sheath. We got um, This is an ammo box and it barely fits one of the um, you know bombs or rocket propelled grenades or whatever they are for the bazooka. Uh, I have a second one but no lid, so that's a little weird. But I haven't opened every box yet. Uh, here we have the uh, 
big uh, anti-air uh, anti-aircraft gun or whatever it is um, this is meant to be mounted here but the bracket that that goes from there to there can't locate it but I did locate it for this is the, the bracket that goes with the fake spotlight doesn't actually light up even though it looks like it does these actually clip onto the interior walls of the watchtower have a second uh, fake spotlight so that's kind of weird there might be the right number of accessories total here but maybe they put the wrong mix of, uh, of items but you know I'm still totally satisfied with it so far I just have to make my own part to mount that gun to that uh, little turret uh, here is the uh, winch I believe this is like a 50 cal rifle for the figure to to use okay now after looking at my accessories closer I'm realizing that I'm dumb and I overlooked that that piece I thought was missing it's already installed on the gun uh, so I'm just reviewing all the pieces that were included with the set um, I don't think I'm actually missing any but I am, uh, I do have a couple extras. So I have an extra clip that holds the magazines. Uh, I have an extra scope, I have an extra ammo box with no lid and an extra light. Uh, the extra light is pretty cool because maybe I can actually modify it and make it use, um, you know, have an LED bulb inside of it. But the uh, other accessories, you know, I, I just hope they're not missing from another lookout tower. Oh, I am realizing that I am missing this uh, a second one of these grenade holsters. I do have all four grenades, but I'm missing the second grenade holster, but that's okay. I'm not even going to use it anyway. I'm going to put it in the, the crate. Okay, guys, now the plastic on this tower isn't the best. I've really been treating it with kid gloves to make sure it doesn't get damaged in any way. Uh, I had to use a little bit of heat to heat up these pegs right down in there so I could pop them on to this base plate without uh, you know anything cracking. Uh, the legs were very easy to, to fit together and they were very easy to, to pop down onto this base. Uh, but I'm going against the instructions right now. So I got my base plate for the, the tower. You're supposed to actually assemble the four walls together, stick that little square on the base plate, and then feed these support poles through it. But I'm putting the support poles on first because they were very um, hard to, to get them seated down into those clips. So my advice, if you don't wanna break anything, put the poles in, put these poles in first. Uh, let me keep putting it together and see how it goes okay it was a little hard to feed that uh, this whole portion over top of these poles but it was still worth it again I recommend going against the instructions doing it that way but your mileage may vary now we're gonna put the roof on and put the accessories on okay we have our world peacekeepers lookout tower all assembled uh, now from the floor all the way to the very highest point on the back side on that back peg that's going to be 32 and a half inches high uh, here i have put my uh, 40th anniversary or rather ma masterpiece blonde gi joe with this green beret reproduction uniform there so you can see what a gi joe looks like inside of this tower down here we got a uh, 40th anniversary land adventure with the spy mission island uh, gear here's our included world peacekeepers figure with a bazooka that really fires and we got it scaling next to the adventure team training center slash training tower as you can see that uh, you know if we had the uh, black aerial on top of the training center uh, the training center is easily about a foot higher but uh, this is 
everything that you want the Adventure Team Training Center to be. This World Peacekeepers Lookout Tower has a lot of room inside. You could fit probably you could probably cram eight GI Joes in there, but comfortably three or four. Uh, you know, there's some space underneath. We've got our rope ladder, very reminiscent of the uh, Training Center rope ladder. Uh, when you're putting it together, uh, again, at the top of these legs, the very top, I had to kind of heat up the legs to, to comfortably pop the roof on without... Oop, my camera died on me there. Uh, I had to heat the legs up to, um, you know, pop the roof on without damaging it. Make sure that you put the roof on straight. As you can see, it starts out uh, thinner at the front by the door and then it gets thicker as you go back. Here's another shot. And here's our working winch. Or you can pull up your gear. There's that machine gun. Uh, do I recommend this? World Peacekeepers Lookout Tower, yes. Just make sure that you have kid gloves when you're assembling it. Make sure that you don't have any intentions on uh, actually disassembling it and storing it in the box. It needs to stay together. Every time that you take it apart and put it back together, you're risking breaking it every single time. So that's my overview of the uh, World Peacekeepers Lookout Tower. 80 or 79.99 have a good one guys